There's our guy. <clears throat> Mr. Sonny. Been in the car for about an hour now. Maybe he's cooled down, but he was pretty brutal when I was carrying his crate out. <clears throat> it's weird because he's pretty relaxed outside. So he was going crazy in the house. I was carrying the crate. <clears throat> and once we got outside, he calmed down. But still, if I if I touch near, he, he would get uh, grumbly and growly. Let's see how he does. Pretty quiet, actually. He was he was biting my fingertips right through that. Okay. And yeah, he probably on his best behavior because he's like, where the hell am I? travel much so he's probably not used to the car he seemed all right though he was quiet okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna leave him alone for a couple hours we're gonna use his instinct to want to belong and not be alone. So once he's out here for a little while by himself, contemplating who's gonna feed him, <laughs> he might be happy to see me in a couple of hours. Mm, they're pretty quiet. Let's see if he gotta go to the bathroom. Just gonna let him check out the yard a bit, <clears throat> smell around, kind of get an idea of what's going on around here. I don't think when I go to get the leash, he's gonna act up or anything like that, and he should be okay out here. He he really acts up when you put him in his crate and then you go to shut the door. That's usually when he's at his worst. <clears throat> So I'm just going to bring him up in a bit after he's done, let him check things out, and then I'm going to introduce him to his crate and see how he does with that. He's pretty well done. He's just been chilling for a bit. So when you approach, you go in with a purpose. You don't really want to hesitate or anything like that. Edward, shush. See if he'll approach Eddie. House. No, house. Pressures. Goes. Good. So what happens when I close it? And he just kind of backed off. Okay. Not uncommon. Dogs in a new space, in a new territory, new people, everything's strange, and a lot of times they'll they'll just be on their best behavior. So it may take a few days for him to, you know, or, or a lot of pressure, one of the two, to get him to show his true colors. But I kind of half expected this because this is what happened when I took him for the walk as soon as we got out of the house, you know. 
I don't think he get put through there. <laughs> he get put his face through there for sure. I'll probably wake up, find him walking around out here later. Yeah, gotta feed him. I left the leash inside. I, you know, I was trying to get him to go in, but <clears throat> should have left it outside. But actually, before I let him out, let me go close this. Even though I'm sure he could fit through there. Wait. So he hasn't given up yet. This is the first thing you do with any dog is you immediately, doesn't matter if they're scared or nervous or, you know, whatever it is, <clears throat> is you immediately show them the rules and the boundaries. You don't want to just immediately become their play buddy. You want to let them know, like, hey, there's some rules here and you need to know them. And then we can start, you know, introducing play and affection and whatever as reward for him understanding and doing what we're expecting. So I'd really like to see him sit. He's not ready yet. See how he keeps impulsing to move forward. I want him to give up on that idea. He's not at all nervous. He's not at all unconfident. Seems like the past few, you know, a lot of dogs that we've had here are pretty insecure and nervous. He's a very confident little guy. <clears throat> and very aggressive. Ain't that right? Break. Break. <clears throat> sit. Sonny, sit. Sit. avoiding this kind of spatial pressure he wants to go around and I'm basically letting him know I'm not allowing you to move you can only do one thing and that's sit and give up can't go that way using the sound from the food to regain his attention. Here's the way back, tails down. Pretty much all I could do from here is wait him out. He's a, he's a stubborn little guy. But I can't feed him until he does this for me. I'm going to turn this off though. not displaying any kind of body language that says, you know, be careful.
here. Set.
walks pretty nice. Ever since our first visit, she said he's been walking really nice and heel. And he really enjoys it, it relaxes him. That's all it took was one visit. Otherwise, before that, he was barking and lunging and growling at every dog and person he saw. Good boy. He's just trucking, huh? good on the walk. I didn't have to correct him at all so he hasn't felt the correction yet <clears throat> just because he was really good on the walk. Little turkey. I'm trying to get to go downstairs. I'm trying to fit through there. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Here. House. No, this way. This way. Good. Down the bottom. So. so far, he's not. Uh, uh, he's a pain in the ass. When I put him in the crate, he's not doing what what they say he does, you know. Usually, you go to shut the door and he fire off at you. Yeah, a little bit of lick, lip licking, but when you touch it, that's not bad. Good. Let Eddie out, see how that goes. Wait. Break. Out. He didn't need his food. Eddie, out. Eddie probably won't care to really go see him or anything because he saw what happened. 